Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Harmony. Today's video is going to be something that I've never really done before. I ran out of a few products that I needed to re-up on and I wanted to try some new things. I was at Walmart and then I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna get a few things that I need and a few things I've been wanting to try. And today's video, I'm gonna be just getting ready and using the products and letting you guys know what I think about them. I'm gonna be letting you guys know how the products last and all of that good stuff. So if you guys wanna see me apply the products, then just keep watching and then I will update you guys on how they are. I hope you guys cannot hear what's going on outside because the gardeners are gardening and yeah, they're being really loud, I'm ruining my video. Don't you guys know that I have to film? So I tried something new from Starbucks today. I normally get Four shots of espresso over ice with four pumps of vanilla and half and half. Sounds more complicated than it actually is. Today I just got the vanilla sweet cream cold brew. It's not bad. I just love coffee, so. All right, so like I said, today's video, I'm gonna be doing a first impressions on a few products so I can let you guys know if it's good. I have about seven products in here. I also got a mascara and a eyelash glue, but I've already used these. I know I like them, so I wasn't trying to try anything different, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows because that's what I normally start off with. So I picked up the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil, and this one is in medium brown. This is the darkest one they had, so hopefully it's dark enough and not like red. It has a spoolie on one side, which is kind of small, and it is kind of similar to the brow definer from Anastasia, like has that triangular tip. So, just gonna brush up the spoolie. Okay, so that's how it looks with and without. What do you guys think? Let me do the other side real quick. The second thing I picked up is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer, and this is an oldie. I used to use this all the time back when I first started my YouTube channel. If you don't know what Hard Candy is, it's a brand that's sold exclusively at Walmart. This is actually a really, really good concealer from what I remember, so we'll see. It comes in a squeeze tube packaging, which I don't mind. It's pretty thick. I'm gonna use this to prime my lids and I'm just using a flat brush from BH Cosmetics. It is pretty thick. I'm gonna moisturize my face and I'm just using this vitamin C brightening serum. Alright, so let's do eyes. So I picked up this wet and wild not a basic peach palette. The first color I'm gonna take is this orange color and I'm gonna use this as my transition shade. I'm curious to see the formula. I haven't even used drugstore eyeshadows in, I don't even, I can't even tell you the last time I did. So. Okay. Well, already I don't see that much pigmentation. It is not that easy to blend out. Focus the orange a lot on the outer corner and blend it in. I'm going for that like bright summer eye look. 
I'm gonna go into this color and just deepen it up a little bit. Oh, this one's a little, a little better. They're like really chalky, I guess. Have a lot of fallout. Just taking a clean brush and just blending everything. I'm gonna risk the biscuit and I'm gonna take this dark color and I'm gonna attempt to deepen up the outer corner. And I'm gonna go back into that orange color right here. Apply it a little bit more in the inner corner right here, and then I'm just gonna cut my crease. Might as well go all in, right? Just taking the same concealer, and I'm just gonna cut my crease just a little bit. I'm gonna go into the gold color right here. So I'm gonna just go back into that orange color and just blend that in my crease just a little bit more. There's not really a lighter color before this one, so I'm gonna take this color, the like nudie color, and just kind of blend out the edges with that. Maybe that will help. Because it just kind of looks like not really blended. I'm gonna take some of that nude color apply it to the brow bone. So I'm actually excited about these. These are the lashes I'm going to be using. They're the Liss Couture Faux Mink Collection Lashes in Midnight. I might get eyelash extensions because my friend had them and they looked so good on her and I was like, I want some. Okay. I'm actually really feeling these lashes. So let's move on to the face. Hold on. I got this. I'm so excited about this. This is a Real Techniques Miracle Face and Body Sponge. So it's basically like the big daddy of the regular one. This is the regular one and it's hella dirty. That's why I got a new one. And this is the big one. I cannot, like I'm so excited. So I'm gonna wet it real quick. So this is almost the size of my face and I have a big ass face so that shows you how big it is. The primer that I picked up is a Master Prime Hydrate Smooth by Maybelline. <laughs> so let's try it out. I haven't really been using a primer so I will have to let you guys know. Keeps my foundation on all day. So I'm gonna do like that much. Just apply this. Hydrate and smooth. That actually makes my face really soft. So I didn't pick up a foundation. I just picked this one up. So I didn't really see a reason to buy another foundation. So this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wearing Foundation. I've been using this for about a week now and I love it. So I like to apply some pumps on the back of my hand and then take my sponge and just apply this all over my face. Let's see if this huge sponge applies it faster. It's so big. I would not recommend this if you have a small face. It literally applied my foundation so fast. And I will say, you do have to like really get in the nose area of this foundation or else it will cake up. gonna chill their dogs for real for real. For the concealer I'm gonna use the same one. I don't really use creams like this to conceal because they're just a little thicker. So I'm not gonna apply a lot of this 
and I'm gonna rub it in with my finger mostly so that my finger kind of warms up the product and it's not super thick underneath my eyes. If you guys remember when people used to use the MAC, I think it was the Select Cover Up Concealer, that's kind of what this reminds me of. I don't like it on my nose. I guess I don't mind it underneath my eyes. I'm gonna contour and I got this contouring stick by Wet n Wild. I saw, if you guys follow her on Instagram, her name is Spanish Candy. Her name is Christina and I saw her using this and I was like, mm, I want that. So I'm gonna try it. She says it's really good. I'm taking the e.l.f. stipple brush to blend this in. So now I'm just going to go over everything with my sponge. Make sure there's no harsh lines. I picked up the Airspun powder. I used to use this as well, but I used to use translucent and this one is naturally neutral. So I'm hoping that this one works what it looks like and I'm just going to bake you know what it smells like baby powder a little bit so as that sits there I'm just going to do my lower lash line real quick I'm just going to take the orange color and just blend that on the lower lash line Now I'm going to brush off the powder. So to set the, the cream contour, I'm just going to take my L'Oreal True Match powder. For blush, I'm taking the BH Cosmetics blush palette. I'm going to take the orangey shade. Taking the Anastasia Emreezy highlight because it's my favorite. Next, I'm taking this Hard Candy 12 hour long wear setting spray. Oh, smells pretty good. So while that sets in, put my earrings on because you guys know I feel naked without them. Just apply a little mascara to the lower lash line, to the brows. I'm just going to take Dose of Colors Knock on Wood with lipstick. guys so that completes this makeup look i hope you guys liked it let me know what products you guys liked what you've tried what you're going to try so i will update you guys but thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you guys liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and i will see you next time bye